Gospel means to me all the good times God has helped me and all the good news He's brought me, especially when I really needed it. The Gospel means to me that it's the teachings of Christ and the instructions on how to live your life and how to spread His Word. I know that Jesus is always going to be there for me and if I ever have problems, I can go to Him. Gospel to me means the first four books of the New Testament, so Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and the story of Jesus' life and his teachings. The gospel means to me is the life and death and resurrection of Jesus and the stories that tell us about his life. The gospel means to me the first books, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, all the stories and good news Jesus has brought and said. Jesus' teachings and ministry and dying on the cross for us and saving us from our sins. The gospel means everything to me. A surprising thing I learned in Confirmation was the story of Paul's journeys and how his name was originally Saul but he didn't really follow Christ. And then Jesus said, why are you persecuting me? And then he was like, who is this? And the Lord said, it is Jesus. And then he changed his name to Paul, and then he went out and started the first church. I thought it was interesting how we learned all the way from the beginning of the Bible in Genesis, and we saw how Jesus' life, even before he was born, was played out through everybody else's lives, all the way to Revelation. I've learned a lot more about the Holy Spirit and what it is and what it does to everybody. God always helps me, no matter what. In every single story that we looked at, He helped us, helped them, helped everyone. And no matter what time in history it is, He's always helped us through every single bad time and helped everyone complete every journey that He sent and needed them to complete. Confirmation was two years. And the first year we did the Old Testament and the second year we did the New Testament. And I really liked how they interconnected and we learned you know, something that happened in the Old Testament, now we learned about it in the New Testament and it just connected well. The Cain and Abel, the way um, Cain killed his brother Abel over jealousy. He killed his brother because he didn't give God a good offering and his brother did. How fast the original church spread and how large it became. That all the stories that we heard about in Jesus, um, that they worship back then. After a thousand years, he's still the same and we still worship him today. Lynn Summerstad is a real life faith hero for me because she was the children's director when I was in elementary school and um, she's impacted my faith in a lot of ways. My grandma, because she's the one who brought me to confirmation and put me down the road I'm on. Uh, my grandma, Jeanette Benihoff, she's really been an encouragement for me and cared for me my whole life. My whole family's real faith heroes because they teach me more about the gospel, Jesus, and everything. Roxy, my small group leader, because she's really nice and any questions I have about God or anything, she always has the answer. Nikki, my youth group leader, because if I ever have any problems, I can always go to her and she'll always have an answer for me. My mom, because she always drives me to church on Wednesdays and Sundays and if I have any questions, I can just ask her and she'll help me through those. My mom, because when I was little, preschool, she put me in a Catholic school and just from there my journey kept growing with God. Uh, definitely swim in hand sanitizer because I'm a clean freak and a mop sounds disgusting. I think I'd rather swim in the hand sanitizer because it'd be more soothing. A pool of hand sanitizer so then I'll be very clean. I would swim in a pool of hand sanitizer because it seems fun. I'd rather brush my teeth with a mop because I don't, I don't want to bathe and be in a whole thing of hand sanitizer. And if the mop is clean, I might as well just use that. I would rather brush my teeth with a mop, but it has to be a clean mop and the little strings have to be small so that they actually fit in my mouth and they have to have toothpaste on it. 
I'm pretty particular about what I brush my teeth with, so I'd prefer the hand sanitizer. I'd rather swim in a pool of hand sanitizer because I would not like to brush my teeth with a mop.